Hey guys, what is going on? That is right, the best spy on YouTube has returned to Team Fortress 2. You thought I was gone forever, and I will admit I am sorry for ditching my community here, but I am sure as hell glad to be back. Now, what you will see here may be potentially amazing, and make sure to follow along with what I'm doing if you want to learn something today. Now, I'm going to put up a disclaimer here. This is like my third game I played after about four months of not even touching TF2, and uh, I sure am glad it hasn't changed much, and I've still got most of my skill, except you will see some bloopers and mishaps. I'm not perfect, but I'm pretty much the closest to it that you can get. And let me explain to you something. Uh, so I just joined this game, and I will top score. I joined this game, it's already three objectives pushed, and you will see me top score like a boss. I mean, if you doubted my skills, then uh, shame on you. And these people clearly didn't know who they were messing with, because they were not on their A game to stop their biggest threat. So like I said, I messed up a bit, got caught by the turret, but it's cool, nobody chased me. So I'm in their base now, I see an obvious spy, clearly not as good as me, I know he will try to kill me, so I'm one step ahead. Turn around, just see him jump on me, so I slice and dice him up. So I am, of course, rocking the full Saharan set. My dead ringer ain't gonna be making a peep when I come back to life, and right there I had to whip it out to take on the engineer above me. He's just camping up there, an easy kill and an easy first disguise, and of course, everyone knows as soon as I get my first disguise as a Saharan spy, there is like no stopping me. However, this uh, sniper did kind of uh, doubt me a little bit, so he did want to go for a kill, and it looks like he's still trying to find me, and too bad he couldn't just compete with what I was throwing at him. Now, I see my team is sort of trying to push, so I'm just hanging out looking for a play, and I get an opportunity when the heavy shows up. I go for a height advantage and jump on him with full force, grabbing that kill and allowing my team to stop hiding and actually try to win the game. As a spy, I am of course always looking for an opportunity to get the kills my team otherwise cannot, so I run up here and begin my journey to the enemy base where I know they are setting up for a final showdown. So really, it's up to me to stop them and win the game. I am of course planning out my route so I could get right behind the enemy lines without much opposition. So here I am, I get behind the enemy lines and I start surveying. However, the same sniper was not happy to see me and I unfortunately did not see him. So he pees on me a bit and I'm sort of screwed. I was almost able to get out, I run to the health, but the pyro was just able to get me in the last second. However, I now know where the engineer is set up, and I have the perfect plan to destroy their defense and actually allow my team to, uh, well, do something. Now, I skipped the boring walk toward here because I felt like it didn't really show my amazing skills, and I know that's what you came here to see. So now I'm back in the enemy line, I don't have a disguise, so my only hope is to die. I see another spy trying to do what I'm doing, but of course he is just useless. I camp next to the pyro because I got the balls, and look at this spy, he saps first. Never sap first, you always kill the engineer, then sap, that's how I roll, that's how it should be done. So I kill everyone and resap the engineer stuff because obviously it's been unsapped already, and I'm sure that spy got a wrench to the face for it as well. And this is my favorite platform to run to on Barn Blitz. It's a great hideout and people run past here all the time. I wait nearby for a spawn and a medic shows up and I unfortunately missed a stab on him like a scrub. I'm sorry, I did say I was a bit rusty. So now I have to hide and wait for someone else to leave spawn. Luckily a soldier wanders out here and again guys, I'm sorry but I missed a few stabs. However, I do get him eventually and uh, get right back into the action. And here's an example of how to be a pro player. You gotta act like you're a red soldier, then when they believe it, punish every single last fool for thinking you were their friend. Here I mop up the floor with their team, get like four kills in a row, and like I said before, I'm acting like I'm red team. I see my team, and I book it in the other direction. I gotta be scared off that shit. There's an uber, and you know I'll be backing away. And here is where you will see me mess up once again. Look guys, I'm only human, so I kinda fail, stab this guy, and he of course mows me right down. So once again I return to the battlefield and I want to get my first disguise, but to do that I need to die first and get my invisibility. I guess my dodging skills are just so good that this guy can't even kill me when I want him to. Oh, 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 and check this shit out. Oh, this is some amazing juking over here. This pyro is going ham trying to find me, but what I do? Just jump right over his ass. So now I'm back at the platform looking for a disguise. Uh, I look up here, I see some goons and I go balls deep into this shit. Check this shit out. Guys, don't do this. I don't recommend it because it was really stupid. And I did get lit up a bit and punished for being so eager. I back off and I thought I was going to burn to death, but then this pyro comes and actually saves me by extinguishing me. That is amazing. 
However, these pyros are just relentless. I strike so much fear into their hearts that they are running like 10 pyros to destroy me. Of course, I am getting a bit shut down, but that does mean that my team can try to win the objective. And in Team Fortress 2, it's all about the objective. So I started to get the hang of this game once again, so that basically meant GG for the enemy team. I get my dead ringer, I run back here, and this pyro is checking everywhere except for where I am. I follow him up and he leads me to a nice juicy sniper who I was just glad to take the disguise of. The soldier gets demolished over here by the scout, so what do I do? Being a helpful sniper, I easily run to the back lane and then wait for a massive play. Now while I'm running, I'm watching every single person run out and decide to plan how I will kill every single one of these fools. This demo makes the mistake of backing off. I grab that kill, run to the soldier, just shut him down, the sniper won't be getting any kills. This soldier will not be escaping back to base. So there we go, that was basically their entire team dead and all I could do is actually play the objective because my team is just too scared to do so. Now the next wave of baddies comes out and they all spawn at the same time because I just killed them all at the same time. Whip out my dead ringer and basically go and repeat exactly what just happened. They activate my dead ringer and I have just 4 health left but I will not back away. I wait for a gap in spawn times, make sure I won't be in any danger. I see the soldier backing up and of course I will press the advantage, kill him, the next soldier as well. The pyro was a little too fast for me so I let him be. And now there is nothing to do, I consider getting the health but it's gone so seeing as the other team just gave up on the game, I decided I might as well win this. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this game and my amazing skills. I look forward to making more videos in the future and make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't done so already.